These drainage pipes are our ticket out of here, Skylander. But Moneybone's troops have sealed up the exit. We need someone to dive down and clear any blockage. Then we can ride the Whirlpool Funnel out to freedom. Luxury Traptanium Penthouse Suite was originally designed for just one prized prisoner, but it can easily accommodate two, Skylander. Oh, unless, of course, <laughs> you were planning on breaking the old fool out. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Actually, I don't. But Lord Chaos has other plans for him. So, ready yourself for battle, Skylander, and prepare to wallow in a foot bath of epic failure! Count Moneybone. If it's a duel you wish for, Skylander, a duel it shall be! Our guard has stopped your engines! has given him more power than ever before. Skylanders on this perspective are weaker against Moneyball. Do not hesitate. Count Moneybone is ruthless. You are vexing me with your persistent messiness! Cannot take much more. Ugh. Any great overlord knows how to delegate tasks, Skylander. That's it. You may have some meager skill after all. You are beneath my attention. Deal with this, lackeys. Well 
Dumb. Wait, wait! What I fail to understand, Moneybone, is how you botched the one job, the one job you had, to keep that old fool Eon locked up! It was the Skylanders! There was nothing I could do! They were terribly heroic. Enough! Is there anything else? Actually, now that you mention it... Ah... <laughs> uh. Lord Chaos? What is it now? Um, sir, it's the darkness. It's asking for you. <gasps> you hear that, Glumshanks? It knows my name. Don't just stand there, fool. Dial it in. Uh, Lord Chaos, are you sure this is such a good idea? Just do it. And the darkness. No, 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 that's ridiculous. Try again. All shall fear and obey me. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. Why, that's remarkable, Glumshanks. What did you do? Nothing, sir. It turned itself. Hey there, Chaos. I understand you've had a few setbacks. Well, if by setbacks you mean the Skylanders, then... There's no setbacks. Everything's fine here. Just fine. Relax. It's no big deal. I'm here now. Everything is going to be just fine. It is? Of course. Skylands is only the beginning. Once we're done with this place, you... And me? We're going to conquer every single world in the universe. Did you hear that, Glumshanks? The whole universe! All you've got to do is keep feeding me that magic, and then everyone is going to fear the darkness. And chaos! Yeah, and chaos. Which reminds me, say hi to your mom for me. Here goes nothing! Greetings, Portal Master. Thank you for rescuing me. It is wonderful to see all of you, but we have no time to waste. Even though Count Moneybone's dehabilitation center has been shut down, Chaos is still out there wreaking havoc across all of Skylands. I saw that Sky Eater up close. How can we possibly stop something so powerful, Master Eon? The Sky Eater itself is not the problem, Hugo. Fiddlesticks! I don't like the sound of this. It is what stirs within it that we should fear. Shielded by the enchanted armor of Chaos's Doom Station is the last remnants of the darkness, and it is growing ever more powerful. Oh, well, that's only the most evilest force in all Skyland. Don't sound so bad. Supposing you have any idea how we go about stopping it? As long as the core of light shines, the darkness will remain within that sky-eating monstrosity. For now, but we must act quickly before all of Skylands is destroyed. Come, Hugo. We have much to do. Sure is good to have Master Eon back. If anyone can get us pointed in the right direction, it's him for certain. I'll say, we can't keep this island moving forever. Eventually, we're going to run into something unpleasant. Oh, no. It's him. Attention! 
Houston racing fans, the Skyland Speedway is open for business. And now presenting the Prince of Pontification, the Sultan of Swagger, the reigning hoopla of all hucksters, me, Pendergast. And I will be your host for this and many other stupendous racing events. So, come one, come all, and test your skills against the fastest fleet of flyers, drivers, and divers this side of Skylands. Earn cash, prizes, and that one invaluable and incalculable award, fame and glory! Pendergast is one of my less upstanding associates from my old days, Skylander. You better make sure he's not up to something. Welcome, racers, to Choppy Garden, the biggest little race in all Skylands. Here, pint-sized competitors will face vast opposition against enormous odds in this even more humongous garden. And if that wasn't enough, be on the lookout for giant chompies. They're always searching for a new chew toy. Good luck! Ready. Three. Alright. 
hot streak. Supercharged. Challenges. And now I'm over here. Whoosh! I'm coast to coast, baby. Hey, Skylander, we found it. We found it. Master Eon has a plan to stop the darkness. Come on. Spellpunk Library is a series of books that chronicle the history and defeat of the darkness. I believe that the information hidden within those books is the key to our victory. But that library is enormous, not to mention cursed. Hugo is right. Even if it wasn't cursed, it would take us years to find what we're looking for. Maybe, maybe not. What if I said I could get you a Spellpunk to help navigate that Spellpunk library? Do I want to know how? Hey, this is all on the up and up. Mostly. Some Spellpunk in a little battle arena I know of has been promising to grant one wish if he's defeated in the ring. All we gotta do is enter and, you know, win. What you say, Skylander? You ready to become the champion of Battle Brawl Island? Be up to the Skyland to battle their way to that spell punk. Uh, yeah, and keep your eyes out for the concession. I'm feeling kind of snack. Welcome to Battle Brawl, Skylander. Never seen you around here before. This here is the nastiest bit of fighting and scraping this side of Motleyville. But if you're dead set on getting your knuckles dusted, you'll have to wake up our lift operator. He's asleep on the job again. He's really out. You'll need something powerful to get him moving. Check with our mix master. He'll have something with a kick. Skylanders of the Dark Element are stronger in this zone. Skylander. What do you say I weigh the odds in your favor a bit? For a reasonable price, I can modify the elementalness of this here arena. Skylanders of the fire element are stronger in this zone. Good luck. You'll need it. It's a real shell crack out there. Well, 
Look at that! A genuine Skylander in my laboratory. Not an everyday occurrence, if you catch my meaning. I understand you might be looking for something with a bit of potency. I just so happen to have a flask of Wake the Dead over on the table there. Ought to do the trick. Troll sticky sock drawer. <laughs> oh, 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 so sorry. Oh, I was just uh, closing my eyes for a bit. <sighs> Gets boring down here, always missing the scuffling upstairs. You want me to send you up to the arena on the lift? Shirkanodo, and welcome to my ring of rumble and tussles. Today, our reigning Krieger of Calamity and Ruckus, the mighty Spell Slamza, will take on all challenges in a no holds barred winner take all brawl to the wall. But before such an honor can be bestowed on you, you must fight your way up the ladder. Now approaching the Battle Bra stage, the combustible calamity of the Fired Up Frontman! Fired Up Frontman. You will truly feel the beat when you face the ponderous power of the Percussion Pounder! Percussion Pounder. Stash.
Mission enjoyment. The culinary exploits of the fair breaker of foods. Where is he holding all of that food? He is like a lunch pinata, yeah? <laughs> And now, the moment you have all been waiting for, I give you the shrouded sinisterness of the magnificent Spell Slamza! Spell Slamzer. Let me hazard a guess. You've come for a favor, yes. Information? Of course. Well, this is Battle Brawl, Skylander. So let's see if you've got what it takes to make me talk. Face me, Skylander, and watch your hopes wither in the ring. Due to my champion, I don't suppose you would be willing to replace him. This one here is terrifying. Well, anyway, you come back any time, yeah? It's good for business. <laughs> I'll be the same. You store in this Viva Nolan house. <laughs> Meddling onion peddlers. And yes, he means it in a bad way. The knowledge you seek is held within the halls of the ancients, etched into the living pages of light and dark. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You mean we gotta read all this stuff? Isn't there a movie version? Oh, you'll have to do more than read. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling he's not telling us something? 
Well, I'm sure glad to be rid of that creep. Gave me the heebies and the cheebies in large quantities, if you follow. The Spellpunk Library contains some of the most dangerous and uh, valuable books that have ever existed. Even if it's been abandoned, I have a feeling we might run into some trouble. Lucky for you, Mags is putting the finishing touches on the new and renovated shop, complete with friendly proprietor. Hi there, Skylander. Welcome to the brand new Academy store. Why don't you come inside and look around? Why don't you have a look and stock up before we head out, Skylander? Meet up over by Master Eon when you're done. Have you had a chance to see what we've got for sale? We get new deliveries and restock all the time, so make sure you check back often. Speaking of which, make sure you save any winged sapphires you come across. Those little babies get you discounts with me, Sharpfin's pit crew, and Miss Persephone's upgrades. Master Eon and the others are waiting for you. Good luck out there, Skylander. from Spell Slams, sir, that the books we seek are somewhere in the halls of the ancients. But the hall is vast, and time grows short. Therefore, anyone who can possibly be spared from maintaining the Academy will be going on this mission to assist in finding these books. Chaos and the darkness threaten all of us. This is the key to putting an end to their evil, for good. Oh, I wish I was as good at being as inspirational as that guy, but still, it's hard to get excited about going to a library. Right, Hugo? Never mind. This place is incredible! Look at all these books! I could stay in here forever! Stay focused, Hugo. We're here for one thing, to figure out how to stop the darkness. And be careful. This is no ordinary library. Come on, Callie. It's just a bunch of stupid, moldy books. It's the most boring quest ever. <laughs> See? And that's why I don't read. The Coming of the Darkness by Pomfrey LaFuzzbottom. Great job, Flynn! This is exactly what we're looking for. It is? I mean, of course it is. You know, I gotta admit, that first chapter really pulls you in. Skylanders of the Fire Element are stronger in this zone. I think I found a book about the darkness, but since this library is cursed, it might be best if you open it. There has got to be something within these pages that will give us a clue to stopping it. Have a look, Skylander, and be careful. Before creating the portals, the ancients explored the universe using magical relics called Rift Engines. 
But in their haste to spread the light of Skylands to other worlds, they created a powerful rift engine that opened a door to a forbidden world and unleashed a destructive force into Skylands, the darkness. Centuries later, in the age of the Portal Masters, the Skylanders had become the greatest champions the world had ever known. No enemy or debris could stand before their might. But the darkness was still out there, somewhere, laying in wait. Tremors and aftershocks rumbled throughout the land. Some great evil was being conjured in the arcane keep of the Spellpunks. The devious Spellpunks had unearthed the very same cursed relic that had allowed the darkness into Skylands centuries ago. The Dark Rift Engine. Level up. <laughs> Level up. The spell punks had to be stopped before they could use its power to awaken the darkness. But the way to the citadel had grown treacherous. Danger sprang from the shadows. fought their way through the danger, charging into the mouth of the Spellpunk Keep. Hey, no fair! That life Spellpunk is healing all the baddies! <laughs> Level up! When you least expect it. <sighs> but then, without warning, all of Skylands began to quake. And a wave of fear swept over the land as a great and terrible shadow erupted from the keep. It bellowed in a deep and malevolent voice. Behold, Skylands, I have returned. All shall fear and obey me. I am the darkness. I've always heard that it was the Ancients who let the darkness into Skylands, but I've never heard about that Dark Rift engine. Still, we don't know how they managed to finally defeat it. We'll have to keep looking, Skylander. Maybe one of the others found something useful. Hey, Skylander, look at this! You should try this. The Charge of the First Light Squadron. It's about an elite squad of fighter pilots who took on the overwhelming forces of evil. Looks pretty turbulent in there. Best if you summon a sky vehicle if you want to take a look. All right, we'll come back with a sky vehicle when you're ready. You should check with Flint. He might have found something useful. Hey, it's possible. <sighs> hey, Skylander, you gotta see this book. Looks like this one here talks about how the core of light got made to give the darkness the old beatdown. 
There's probably more inside, but I'm not really in a hurry to crack it open, if you know what I mean, because it's kind of cursed, but you go right ahead. The war of the darkness had nearly been lost as all of Skylands was being held in its terrible grip. But there was one chance. A mythical device built by the ancients to combat the darkness had been discovered. It was called the Core of Light. But finding its location would be the most dangerous mission of them all. The darkness knew the core of light would be its end, and so it attacked. Its dark power was beyond comprehension. It shattered mountains and bridges with casual disdain. The darkness's rage was earth-shaking and all-consuming, for it knew that in order for its power to grow, the core of light must stay hidden. Undaunted, even in the face of this great evil, the Skylanders continued the quest. It called forth its evil servants to do its terrible bidding. Level but they would fall before the Skylander like limp bundles of experience and treasure. But still found time to stop and collect great piles of treasures. The upgrades don't come cheap. Double dare trigger happy. Desperate, again and again it attacked with renewed fury. by the brave Skylanders. And then, after a long journey, the lost citadel of the Portal Masters had been reached. The radiant purity of the core of light had been found at last. But in the distance, the darkness raged on. Bowsers, looks like the darkness almost conquered Skylands back in the olden days until they used the trusty core of light. But it stopped right before the good part. I totally can't wait to find out what happens next. Maybe the one Max found will have more info. Don't keep me in suspense. But it's kind of a cool raid. It's all about an evil Hydra monster. I've heard of that. Well, it turns out it used to be like a pet of some dark portal masters. Can you imagine that? <laughs> it's like trying to housebreak a rabid honey badger. Not a good idea. Hmm. Looks like you'll need a sea vehicle to read this one. Sí. 
Shadow. Servants of the darkness were known for keeping a lethal menagerie of creatures and beasts. None was more terrifying than the multi-headed monstrosity known as the Hydra. The Hydra's appetite for both food and destruction was without limit. Dark portal masters, in an effort to appease their favorite pets, gathered all the food in Skylands and dropped it in the sea. The people, hungry and deprived of all sustenance, called on their heroes, the Skylanders, for aid. The Skylander, heedless of danger, dove into the shadowed and endless depths of the sea to face the Hydra. But the lair of this Hydra was fraught with peril, danger, and exploding proximity mines. The Hydra was not the only dangerous creature in this deep sea. Ravenous Hydra hatchlings hid, coiled in the rocks, and would strike without warning. A fish of foul falls swam these waters briefly. Skylander traveled. <laughs> Finally, the Skylander descended into the lair of the Hydra. There was the pilfered food. Without hesitation, the Skylander snatched up the food. The sea crumbled and quaked as the Hydra woke. The heads of the Hydra lashed out in rage. The Skylander was cornered until a secret passage out of the lair was revealed. The Skylander sped away. This food was too important to risk. Faster and faster the Skylander swam. But the Hydra's speed was incredible. It churned the water into a swirling foam, gaining and gaining on the Skylander. But just up ahead, that geyser! Could it? It could! The various and many jaws of the Hydra snapped at the jets of water in frustration. It had been robbed of its prize and vengeance. The Skylander returned the stolen food to the people of Skylands, thwarting this creature of darkness. Like we're kind of making history ourselves right now. Wouldn't that be something if we all ended up in a book someplace, too? I bet the next book is gonna be even more exciting than this one. I think Hugo's finally managed to decide on one. You should go find him before he changes his mind.
Choose one of these Porto Master powers. Each Porto Master rank gives you access to new. Oh, hi, Skylander. I'm glad you're here. This book here is called To Light the Dark by Pomfrey LaFuzzbottom. I didn't read much, but it talks about using the core of light to fight the darkness. This could be the one! You can't fully immerse yourself in this book without a land vehicle, Skylander. Hot streak. The forces of good had discovered the hidden location of the core of light, but they soon realized that the ancients had never completed this great machine, a secret that to this day has been forgotten. But with the darkness closing in for the final blow, they had no choice. They would power up the core and risk everything in a final battle. And they would hope that even an incomplete core of light would be enough to keep the darkness at bay. The Skylander sped into action. There was only one chance. An all-out attack to drive the darkness toward the core itself. But the darkness would not go easily. The darkness laid snares and traps for the Skylander. The Skylander, however, would not be halted. darkest parts of Skylands once again. But for how long? One day it will return for its revenge. In order to destroy the darkness once and for all, the secret to completing the core of light and unleashing its true power must be found. This will be my life's work. What'd you call me? Callie is right. You must seek out the author of that book. If any living being knows how to complete the core, it is Pomfrey La Fuzzbottom. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find this Pom Pom Fuzzy Bottom guy and turn this core of light into the most awesome weapon ever. Ah! 
That's Tessa! She shouldn't be trying to fly in these skies, it's too dangerous! Hopefully the bird broke her fall. Whoa! That looked like a pretty hard landing. You'd better go check on Tessa, Skylander. I need to examine the book we got from the Spellpunk Library for leads on Pomfrey's whereabouts.